Welcome back to Monroe's Corner. We back with another reaction today. We got uh, my thoughts on roommates. This is from the I One Is Out channel. I right, just came through uh, via donation. Uh, all right, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it on hundred. All right, so uh, so if you enjoy this reaction, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, turn the notification bell on because I'm dropping every day. Thank you so much for getting me the 2K. You know what I'm saying? We did it in a month. Uh, new channel goal is 15k. Let's get it popping, baby. All right, let's go. You know, I never really understood trigger words until I got roommates. I hated my roommates, <sighs> except for you, Isaac. He watches my videos. Oh, James, <laughs> you didn't hate your roommates. You just mildly disliked them. Yes, I did. When I first moved out of my house and went to college, the day I moved into my apartment and I opened the front door, this is what I saw. Keep in mind all the buildup that has gone into this moment. First, I had to get accepted into the school, then pick my major and classes. Then I had to find an apartment close to the school and get everything set up there. Then I had to pack everything up into a suitcase, kiss my dogs goodbye, and then be all on my own for the very first time. I opened the door to where I'd be living for the next eight months, and this is what I see. Someone sleeping on a couch, he was wearing some bright fast food employee uniform, the TV is on, there's a Halo 5 poster hanging on the wall, the sink, counter, and table is full of dirty dishes, there's a big industrial sized trash can that is overflowing, inside the fridge there is an empty box of Dr. Pepper, a bottle of ketchup, and a jumbo Costco sized pack of hot dogs. You walked into a nightmare! Oh god. Oh, I'd have been like, I think I got in the wrong place. <laughs> Where did all these dishes come from? Fun fact, those hot dogs were still in the fridge when I left. But wow. the worst thing that was there was there was about a million basketball cards just lying on the floor. I'm not even exaggerating, here's proof. Okay, so I got a single room. Were those tops? Uh, uh, I have a basket. What was it, tops? Flare, flare. I still have my ba baseball card and football card and basketball card books. Oh man, I just... Cards just lying on the floor. I'm not even exaggerating, here's proof. Okay, so I gotta f t remind me to tell y'all, I'm, I'm gonna do some story times on my channel. So remind me to tell y'all about the time where I thought, <laughs> where I thought I came up off a of baseball card. It was like, I found a card that was, I looked it up and it was worth six figures. Uh, <laughs> Remind me to tell you about that. In basketball cards just lying on the floor. I'm not even exaggerating, here's proof. Okay, so I got a single room because I brought all my drawing stuff and I would feel bad if I shared a room with someone and he had to deal with all my drawing stuff being there and also I wanted to be alone. Looking back, I'm so glad I got a single room because that room couldn't even fit myself. Literally, I could stand Damn. in the middle of the room, hold my hands out, and without moving my feet, I could touch the walls of the room. Maybe I just wow. have long arms, I don't know. I mean, I could settle for a small bedroom, but what made living there so horrible were the roommates. What I didn't realize is that these boys also got private rooms, so that means that they too were socially awkward and kept to themselves. Which you might think is a good thing, <clears throat> but you'd be wrong! On the first night of being by myself, I unpack all my drawing stuff and I set it all up, then I turn on the computer and the screen is just black. Nothing was turning on. I tried everything to fix it and it just wasn't turning on. Eventually I contacted the people who made it, sent it in and then I got it back working, but during that week while the tablet was being fixed, like seriously no joke, that was probably the worst week of my entire life life. I'm being serious, making comics and YouTube videos was what kept me sane. And that first night of being on my own and my tablet broke, I I, I cried, guys. I couldn't even eat mm. food, I was that sad. I hit rock bottom. I remember just watching Captain Sparkles and Game Grumps highlights all day. But then the day <laughs> I got it back, I was a drawing machine. I posted a comic the very same day. So let's spend the rest of this video talking about these previously mentioned roommates I had. The first person I need to talk about is Isaac. He was the only one that I like, and he's also the only one I told that I made YouTube videos. Now this boy wore Obey hats, he vaped, and he said stuff like, that's dope. But you wanna know why I liked him the most? Because he did the dishes! Like, me and him <laughs> did the dishes. It wasn't just him, okay? Right. I'd probably never become friends with him in any other circumstance. Just wanted to say that he was the cool one. I like him. Hi Isaac, I miss you. I was looking at this post on the internet and it was where the old memes are today. And for the after picture for the scumbag Steve meme, 
It looked exactly like my roommate, who I'll just make up a fake name for, Steve for convenience. I'm pretty <laughs> sure I was roommates with a meme. Just put a fedora on this meme, and boom, that's my roommate, Steve. And it was a very fitting meme, too. This guy wouldn't do the dishes, he always cooked this ramen thing in the microwave, and would leave this gross juice stuff behind, uh, so then when yeah. I would go to use the microwave, it would get my paper plate soggy, so I would have to- The ramen cups. <laughs> The ramen cups. We had some of those, but we usually had the packs. It will boil them. You know what I'm saying? I remember I used to come back from school. Uh, but it smelled like my roommate cooked a full meal, man. I go in there. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's some damn ramen. Uh, boil some ramen. They had hot dog. Pope man pasta. Ramen noodles was chopped up uh, hot dogs in the noodles. You know what I'm saying? And then we used to throw a little extra, some little garlic powder, a little lard, seasoning salt on there. You know what I'm saying? To jazz it on up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And they used to put spam in there sometimes. Oh, shit, man. Hey, man. Oh, the struggle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I digress. Check every time before I used it to make sure there was no juice stuff behind. And also at night, he watched anime without headphones, subbed. Anime has a certain sound to it, I don't know if you knew that. It's like normal Japanese, but really emphatically. Luckily it was usually late at night when he started watching, so I would just have to get to sleep before he started and <clears throat> I would be all good. James, why didn't you just ask him to turn it down? I did! One night I went into his room and I said, Hey man, can you turn it down? And you know what? He did turn it down for that night. That <clears throat> night. That one night. The very next <clears throat> night. But you know, he wasn't too bad. He would spend most of his time in his room playing video games, and I would spend most of my time in my room drawing. So except for the microwave juice thing, we didn't get in each other's way too often. Here's actually a funny story. So when I was filming the part in the vegan video when I crumpled up Oreos over Reese's Puffs, Steve walked into the kitchen and he saw me filming this sugary vegan concoction, and I just said to him, don't ask. Okay, so here's the roommate that I hated the most. His fake name will be... Hunter. He was the one asleep on the couch when I first walked in, and he was the one who had collected all those billions of basketball cards. Just basketball cards. And he kept them all in the front room. What's the point of having sports cards when you can't even play with them? I mean, I spend money on Magic the Gathering cards, but that's because it's an actual game that you can play with friends. What do you do with sports cards? I mean, I guess you can leave them in the front room of your apartment. Maybe one day your roommate might make a video about it, though. He left his it Mountain Dew bottles on the items. floor, he farted in public, he'd always complain that Steve didn't do the dishes, but he wouldn't do the dishes either. One time I was tired of doing everyone's dirty dishes, so I bought a big stack of paper plates for everyone to use, but Hunter took the paper plates to a party without even asking me, and he didn't even bring them back. But the worst thing this guy oh, did, Hunter, just, one just day he respect. told me, my ex-girlfriend doesn't want our dog anymore, so he's coming to live here. No, no, what? no, so sir, this boy huh? wants you don't to bring even a take dog care of yourself. In an already very small cramped apartment. I couldn't believe this. The dog's name was Snoopy and I loved him. Hunter would put him in his kennel at night, but one night I was like, hey, Hunter, Snoopy can stay with me if you want. And then, boom, from that day forth, I was the one taking care of Snoopy. Snoopy would now sleep in my room, I would be the one who took him out for walks, and I fed him slices of lunch meat. What was great was that when I would go into the kitchen and Hunter would be watching TV, he would call for Snoopy. Snoopy! Snoops! Snoops! But he wouldn't come. Uh. This dog would follow me everywhere. And then one day Hunter said, Hey, do you just want to have Snoopy? I was going to get rid of him. And then I said I would take him. And then later that same week, Hunter moved out. He took all the toilet paper too. He basically gave me a dog. And of course <laughs> I loved that dog. But we lived in such a small space and I was always busy with school and drawing. I knew these weren't the best conditions for a dog to live in. And I'm pretty sure my apartment didn't even allow pets. So I asked people I knew if they wanted Snoopy and my grandma got one of her oh. friends to take care of him. So I dropped Snoopy off and I've never seen him since. Oh. And that's it, the end. Snoopy. There was another roommate who I didn't even mention. He always worked a lot so I didn't really see him too much. He had an electrical toothbrush Brush, and I think since I was already mad at my roommates, when I would be trying to go to sleep and he would start brushing his teeth, I would hear the electrical toothbrush going, Aah! and I would just start shaking with anger, like, <laughs> <laughs> just use the normal toothbrush, too! Also, I want to thank you all for a million subscribers. I mean, as I'm recording this, I don't have a million just yet. But hey, when this comes hey. out, maybe I'll have a million, who knows? Wow. I'm counting my chickens before they hatch, and there could be another YouTube wow. purge. But the next video you will probably be the million one, so cool. Okay, thanks for watching. Wear your seatbelts, unless you're my roommates.
You had a lot of you had a lot of uh, chickens hatched because uh, now he's at 17.8 million. Woo! Wow, <laughs> that's dope, man. Uh, I have some crazy roommate stories from when I was in college. Uh, wow, you dirty, dirty, so dirty. Like, how could you be so dirty? Going to the like, we used to go out and get ready to go out to the club. We used to get ready to go out to the club, man. We, you know, just do it like, we freshen up, you know what I'm saying? Getting right, taking our shower, getting good. We come back out, do it already. Do it already, got them on the couch, waiting. I know, I got a bed, I got a bed, I got a, I got a uh, bathroom in my bedroom, and then it was another bathroom for the, for the other two rooms. All right, uh, since I paid the most, I got the biggest room. All right, and so my cousin was in the my cousin, like me, my cousin was in one bathroom, and I was in one bathroom. We get ready, dude, already ready. You know what I'm saying? He he talking about he already showered, right? <laughs> Greg. My, my cousin Greg was like, hey man, hey cuz that he ain't been washed. I'm like, how you know? He brought me into the bathroom. His wash rag is as crisp as a damn potato chip. Just just crisp. I ain't seen many moons have passed since that damn Watch closet and seen some motherfucking goddamn water. Okay? Ain't nothing worse than living with a stinking roommate. It was to the point we just had to check him on it. And you know, it, he still kept his stank ways. He, he would try to fool us, but he still, I don't, I don't get it, man. Them roommates be terrible sometimes, dog. Y'all let me know some of y'all roommate stories, man. Put them in the comments, man. I, 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 I wanna uh, let me let me hear some good bad roommate stories, man. Like, put them in the comments. Uh, I can also do some story times on that too as well. Yeah, yeah. Put them in the comments. Let's get. It. I want to see these bad roommate stories, man. For real. All right. If you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you like. That goes to the algorithm. It helps out in the algorithm, man. Subscribe, which helps the channel grow, man. And we are on the road to 15K, all right? Make sure you turn the notification bell on because I'm dropping every day multiple videos. All right, man? Y'all have a great day. Thank you for dropping in and checking on you, boy. All right? Peace out. Love you.